so the finished article what it should look like um, just wanted to talk about some really sort of basic things that should be happening uh, when you're doing protection work the type of harnesses that you're using something that is of extremely high quality back tie strong chain link strong wood or metal that's been used safety line a safety line because this is civil work so when you turn around and look at the decoy if if there is a mistake um he'll get hurt go back to the decoy again you look at the gloves etc you know so what we want talking about now is this but babe is the lack of need from the decoy to be jumping around and you know creating all sorts of uh stimulus to get the dog to bark so bleep walk forward nine it must be command specific without any jumping around pass off <coughs> regardless of feedback pass off autonomous response when it becomes more physically aggressive towards me so you should see an improvement and an increase in drive again no sleeves just the behavior now for me in particular in, in our uh, program we want um, a really strong bark, um, uh, almost like a rabid dog, saliva everywhere, because we are trying to um, scare them off. The bite is our last resort, especially in this country. So this type of visual outrageousness is something that we highly encourage as a precursor to a bite if, if, if needed. Okay, so where do we go next? So we have this uh, request of barking with no sleeves, etc. Um, no need to dance around, whipping, etc. And we'll show you these different variables, right? When you're having to overstimulate the dog, that's not a true picture. So we're going to work backwards. At the finished stage, this dog should be able to bite a prosthetic arm. Go and get the prosthetic arm. Bleep. But what you'll notice is control, right? So of course he's nine, bleep, bleep. I'm gonna ask nine, right, bleep. Pass off. But still I want the control. Right. Pass off. Right. Now in the down period, where the dog is been asked to not do anything we have the control we proof the control I'm gonna activate the dog again and then you're gonna punch the dog with that and the dog must bite whatever is presented pass off, pass off. <laughs> Can 
you see? Yep. Plats! Blade. We still shut him down. Right? Control. So the next thing is this. Let's go to different types of weapons that people would use, okay? So for example, uh, grab a broom, okay? Plats! Come at me with a broom. <laughs> your hands. Have the control. Bleed nine. Step forward. Nine. Nine. Step forward. Nine. Control. Step forward. Nine. I'm gonna put him in a directed bite. Okay. Bucket. Good. Good lad. Even with all the stimulus that's going on, being able to control this animal um, and harness that energy and unleash it uh, with its ferocity when needed, that sometimes is the difference between life and death. Brilliant performance, Brutus. Bravo. Bravo, young man. Go ahead. Out him. Go on, out him. Out! Go on. Out! Go on. Get out! Get out. Ah. Good boy. Out! Good boy. No chance. Go on, out him. Out! Yeah. I'm not going to ask Christian to um, stroke this dog's head, but you, you, there's no way you get away with that. Out him. Out! So do yourself up properly. Yeah. <coughs> when they're wearing competition suits. You're not going to do, do this type of seriously civil stuff in suits that were made for Mondio. You know, you need to have a proper bite suit. There is no dog that is coming through a proper bite suit. 
where you have you know proper neoprons underneath it or if you pick up the the, the concealed <coughs> there's there's no dog that's coming through all those layers it's not a lion it's not a hyena you know so you know wearing a competition suit and then all of a sudden making out like the dog is coming through the suit it's just you know it, it makes no sense there is no truth in it the proper suits your decoy will be protected your decoy may get some bruising may get some pinch marks but there's no reason that decoy should be um, having actual bite uh, bites coming through no way if you're using the right equipment so come forward so again what we're going to do here is this if you move across um, again Dogs are conditioned, they bite the arm, we give the arm, we give the arm, we present the arm, and we're all doing it. Um, but you need to make sure that this dog will grab wherever possible. Turn around. Okay. Okay. Come back. Nine. Come back. Come back. Nine. And I'm going to send him now. Park it! Whatever, whatever position is available. The response time is lightning fast. No hesitation. And that's why the importance of having the control is everything. To activate and shut down effectively. Ows! Blacks! Turn around. Nine. Come forward. This time it's going to be for the inside arm. Pocket! <laughs> Else! Turn around. Pocket night! Stopping it. Pocket night! Turn around. Come closer. Pocket night! There is no grey area uh, when it comes to liability. There is no gray area when it comes to accidents. And um, the finished product must, 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 must have an off switch. So, your bike suit, as you took your bike suit off, what else did you have inside that bike suit? Yeah, and, and, and on, on the other side as well. Yeah. yeah. So like I said, there's no way you're using the right equipment um, and then showing up with all these type of bruises unless you're working hyenas. It's just not, not possible. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect the decoy. You know, if you're managing anybody that's getting serious injuries, um, in, in years to come, they're not going to appreciate what you've done for them. So now let's grab baseball bat, uh, a hammer, um, knife. Nine, please. So, again. Nine. He already recognizes this, yeah? But, you know, of course, the argument would be, oh, well, what if it was someone playing baseball? Listen, when you have a personal protection dog, there's certain realities that that, that, that that you know if you don't have control that will become a problem for you but at the moment he's got his baseball i can shut the dog down raise your baseball bat nine i tell him when to or when not to yeah not a problem nine but then when the picture of physical harm the aggression comes in he should also have the opportunity for the autonomous but for now it'll be the command specific so he doesn't need to wave the bat. I've recognized that he's on my land or we've had a, a verbal altercation. So just speak to me calmly and just tell me that you're going to smash my head in a minute. Just calmly. Mate, if you don't shut up, I'm going to smash your head in a minute. So he's told me, if I don't what? If you don't let me alone, I'm going to smash your head in a minute. Okay, so I could go through certain words that are not triggers and, you know, McDonald's is not a trigger, um, tangerines is not a trigger but if i use this word say it to me again i'm gonna smash your head pass off <coughs> good boy then he's gonna start getting physical and the dog's gonna escalate fuck off fuck off 
Fuck off! Nutrition is everything. The duck meat burgers, a fantastic, complete, raw food. Literally defrost and serve. A variety of excellent options. Pioneered since 1970, a Belgium import. If you need any nutrition advice, please contact my team at poochdvd.com. <laughs> 